Hey guys, how's it going? F8 here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a special look at comparing Diablo 3 to Inquisitor Martyr. Now there's two things I wanted to go ahead and get out of the way right from the start here. One is that Inquisitor Martyr is obviously still in the beta and still has a bit of a ways to go as far as development, but they are doing a good job at hitting their uh, milestones and keeping the patches coming. The second thing is that I will not be able to cover each and every point exactly uh, in this comparison. Otherwise, this video would be probably well over an hour long. But I wanted to go ahead and highlight some areas of the comparison here and try and get you guys a um, somewhat quick but also very quality comparison in these two games to see exactly um, how they stack up against each other. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it here. Our first topic is going to be graphics and optimization. And I will be going back and forth between Diablo 3 and Inquisitor Martyr. And also there is a video rolling in the background so you guys can see what I'm talking about here while I'm talking about this. Um, it's just some gameplay so you guys can get a feel for exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and get started here. Diablo 3 was released in 2012, and then it also had an expansion that was released in 2014. Of course, that was the Soul Reaper expansion. Um, as far as the graphics go, they are aged, obviously. Um, the game looks somewhat cartoony, uh, but that's also kind of what Blizzard is known for, is their, their style, their uh, somewhat cartoony style. It's not super detailed or defined, especially with the characters. Don't get me wrong, there is obviously definition and detail in the characters. However, if you try to get up close and zoom in on the characters, uh, they're kind of blurry. As far as Diablo 3 goes, this may be different for WoW or some of their other games. But as far as Diablo 3 goes, not really super defined or detailed. They look good from afar. Um, and let's go ahead and look at Inquisitor Martyr here. Inquisitor Martyr was released in February 2017. It's more of a gritty, grimy, dark type of atmosphere. Um, it's not a huge, there's not a huge range of colors. But with that said, the graphics are up to date and it has uh, a good looking detail and sense of defined characteristics in your character or even just the environment. Uh, you can definitely see that the uh, modern engine, graphics engine used that they uh, are optimizing and um, putting into play here. Now let's talk about optimization real quick. Inquisitor Martyr, when it was released, had a bit of optimization issues, um, but they are fixing these one patch at a time. So I'm hoping that by the third quarter, when Inquisitor Martyr is released at it will be very, very optimized and run very nicely on most computers. And of course, Diablo 3, it is an older title, but it is also very, very well optimized. They've had plenty of time to go ahead and improve um, the optimization and how it actually functions on your PC as far as uh, utilizing the PC and the RAM and the graphics card and whatnot. So let's go ahead and move on to our next section where I look at, and that is gameplay and lore. Now, let's start with Diablo 3. Diablo 3 is a very fluid gameplay. It's an open exploration um, worlds. However, it is also easy for beginners to pick up. It is a story-driven um, game that you play through acts. There's no PvP in Diablo 3, but there is a feature to create groups, so you can go ahead and group up and... Uh, uh, basically tear through the uh, axe in the maps uh, with your friends. Now moving to Inquisitor, it's less fluid at the moment than you have Diablo 3. It also is a closed map, so um, the maps are not very big. They're, they're mainly like, um, I guess, hallways or corridors type of uh, mapping. But with that said, um, it does have a galaxy a sector and a world exploration system there are an extreme amount of missions um, on the worlds 
also there's a number of worlds in each sector so the number of missions like I said is is extreme there are quite a few missions there also is newly introduced PvP there are cabals and you can go ahead and just like in Diablo 3 you can uh, partner up with your friends and play through the maps in a team let's move forward to the physics and animation now Diablo 3 does not have a uh, tactics um, gameplay style or like a cover system also the environment is non-destructive in Diablo 3 so you can't like say bring down like a, a tree or a, a building or something and damage the enemies it doesn't work like that however the animations as far as the character animations the the world animations they're all super fluid they're all very satisfying and uh, they're they're visually devastating to see when you when you land those impacts when you see those attacks they're very devastating they're like I said super satisfying to watch you know um, 10 or 15 enemies explode by a, a super attack you did so let's move over to Inquisitor Martyr Prisoner Marder does use a cover system uh, with various types of cover and different materials. So there's like concrete, there's like um, uh, containers you can hide behind. And of course, uh, depending on what it is, they take a different number of shots to get through. So that is implemented in Inquisitor Martyr. Inquisitor Martyr could uh, use improved fluidness and animations to make it more satisfying as far as when you're uh, killing uh, the enemy or when you're bringing down pillars or something like that. But with that said, Quizzer Martyr does have great uh, physics. So when you are bringing down those pillars, the animations are good um, for the uh, destructible environments. Or when you hit like a uh, uh, destructible uh, container, like a fuel container or something like that, and it explodes, it damages the whole area around it. So behind it, in front of it, below it, above it, all that gets damaged which is great. It shows the physics. It shows that the animations are there and they will be getting better as they continue to patch Inquisitor Martyr. Now let's move to the sounds. And this is one area where obviously Diablo 3 is just worlds above Inquisitor Martyr at the moment. I, I stress at the moment because obviously Inquisitor Martyr is still in the beta. Let's get into it here. So. Diablo 3 has great sounds. It has a great soundtrack. Uh, when you're picking up loot coins and weapons or striking, you know right away what each sound means. Also, the characters' noises, the uh, weapons, like the impacts, the environmental extras, like uh, water, uh, like waterfalls, and uh, just environmental extras are very distinct and easily recognizable in Diablo 3. Now, Inquisitor Martyr, like I said, is a work in progress. However, with the latest patch, which is patch 3.0, there seems to be a more sounds and better sound corresponding to each action. It seems like when you swing and your your melee weapon, you can hear the swing now, like it's uh, air resistance. You can hear that. You can also there's also a better uh, sound when the enemies die, like when they kind of explode, or the explosions when you hit a container. Also, the destructible environment bringing down a column sounds amazing in Inquisitor Martyr. Now, when we're talking about looting, uh, excuse me, we're talking about the loot and the crafting. Um, Diablo 3 is ridiculous. Uh, obviously, they've had how many years to work on this game and refine this. However. Diablo 3 has an outstanding crafting system. Um, almost anything that you need in the game you can craft. Armor, weapons, um, the different uh, like rubies and uh, gems and whatnot. You can enchant. I mean, the crafting system in Diablo is probably one of the best in modern ARPGs. It's outstanding. Also, this is obviously from Blizzard, and Blizzard has a very very large financial backing to uh, invest into things like this but let's move forward here to Inquisitor Martyr um, they have a newly implemented crafting forge system that gives bonuses to things like crafting time or like materials and uh, more things to come it's pretty limited at the moment with the the current patch which is patch 3.0 but I feel that Inquisitor Martyr 
will have a very functional crafting system and one that uh, will not leave you wanting. I feel that when they go ahead and implement everything that they want to implement into Inquisitor Martyr, it will be satisfying. You will have a lot of fun in crafting if that's your thing. Now let's move forward to probably the, one of the most important parts of both of these games and this comparison, the combat. So we'll start off with Diablo 3. The combat in Diablo 3, the animations are very fluid. There's dynamic weapon impacts and sounds. There's colored items for rarity. Bosses and elites are also designated by their color. Um, also, there's an insane amount of uh, mobs, elites, to fight in each location. Also, Diablo 3 has six diverse classes to choose from. And uh, there's rumors that there's another one in the future, the Necromancer, which make a grand total of seven classes you can go ahead and choose from in Diablo 3, making the, the combat, the way you want to play the game, uh, very diverse, very different experience every time you play it with a different character. Now, Inquisitor Martyr, it also has colored rarity items. It feels a bit restricted at the moment. However, animations and the sounds are notably improving and becoming more varied with every additional patch to the game. Right now, there's two classes in Inquisitor Martyr. However, they will be, there will be a third class in the upcoming patches, and that is, of course, the Psyker which I am looking forward to, and that's just what is slated at the moment. There might be more classes in the future, but right now there will be a grand total of three classes in Inquisitor Martyr, and they all are very diverse, very different play styles. So you have the tank, you have the high DPM um, glass cannon, and uh, we're still waiting to see exactly what the Psyker will be, but it is looking good. Now let's go ahead and move forward to my final thoughts about these two. Um... So, basically, Diablo 3, uh, it has great sounds, animations, and satisfying combat, not to mention the monstrous number of players that have played it or are playing Diablo 3 at the moment. It is a story-driven narrative and has great lore behind it. Um, Diablo 3 does, however, have aged graphics and non-destructible environments that are kind of limiting this legendary title in the modern ARPG environment. Moving to Inquisitor Martyr, it is still in the beta. There is much more to come from Inquisitor Martyr in terms of enemy types, locations, crafting, appearance modifications, and of course the seasons which they have mentioned in the past. Also, Inquisitor Martyr has an awe-inspiring Warhammer 40k universe to pull its lore from, which means that the there is so much more, so much they could implement with Inquisitor Martyr, and they're just, like I said, barely getting started. We're still in the beta. Guys, Inquisitor Martyr, I think, is going to be one of the hottest ARPGs when it is released. It's, it's building now. It's gathering its uh, player base slowly through the... Um, the founding and uh, the uh, beta, but I think once it is released and they start showing some of the additional content that will be involved in the future, I think Inquisitor Martyr is going to be a serious contender in the ARPG uh, world. Um, that's my thoughts on it. I am personally a fan of both these games. So with that said, guys, that's my comparison between the two. Leave comments below on what you guys think between these two and the comparison, I am F8 Alpha, and I will catch you guys next time.